presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. Golden Gophers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that's to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at the 41. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Taylor on the inside handoff, and they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. release tight end incomplete so that'll make it fourth down great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well Crawford is waiting for the snap and he's tackled at the 23 So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. The quarterback draw goes for about a yard, but that's it. That brings up second. From their own 24-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Spencer will be the return man. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Personal foul. Basement. Basement. Defense. Defense. Still, first Still first down. down. From the 49-yard line. First down. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. Tax 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. They get four yards on the halfback option. That makes it seven and six. From the 33-yard line, second down. plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. They're going to try a long field goal here. Minnesota is looking to go up by three. It has the distance and he nails the long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Now he pitches it. Tackle made at the 35. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football. But man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of the job. wide throws complete he's hit right away it's second down six yards to go ball on the 39 yard line Most picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. They'll spread the field with five wide. Red two, orange three. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 43. at the 27 yard line let's get some points going right now not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter i'm with you i'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point give credit to the defenses but i think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call so we're just about ready to return to action minnesota is up a field goal and he is drilled the 37 yard line from their own 37-yard line. First down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Oh, 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. quickly and it's almost intercepted third down now and they need to get it to the 25 nice catch first down and he's knocked out he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play Minnesota holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down at the 15. This is the eighth play of this drive. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 10-0. Brought down at the 20. Minnesota's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Caught and big hit there to stop it. About the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Black five, black, go. Quick throw to the 
the back, it's incomplete. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. They come out in an empty backfield. A little toss across the middle. And he hits him hard at the 46. Jackson gains seven yards with a catch there. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10 0, Minnesota. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. level at the 43-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. That's a game of five on the play. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets to about the 37-yard line. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. He laterals the ball. He's at the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the one-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Five wide. Wide receiver screenplay. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Here we go again. Here we go again. 
Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for him. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 29. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First and 10. Ball on the 29. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice run up the middle. He makes his way out to about the 12. From the 12 yard line, first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's a run. They'll knock him down for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Rutgers ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 48. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's hit and got away. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. Tackled after a decent pickup. From the 37 yard line. First down. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds. At about the 27-yard line. First down. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the three. At the three yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. It's second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Minnesota! He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. There's a strike complete. He's down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. the 36-yard line. He's taken down at the 44. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Is back and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Okay, check back, check back, five, six, five, six. Gets to about the 44 yard line. Super effort by the defense here to stuff him at the line and force the offense into a fourth down situation. Spencer awaiting the return. From the 15, he makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Golden Gophers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Got it, and brought down immediately. Second down and five. Ball on the 28. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Tackled at the 34 yard line. Jack, 
He makes the catch and has a first down. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. Going deep, lays it out there. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. He throws left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And this play is number eight on the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the four-yard line. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. Minnesota's out of timeouts. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Minnesota is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And that's going to do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. Golden Gophers with a 24-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on yeah i'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors we'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now time for the second half with brad and kirk and we welcome you back to the action here just about set for the second half Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Golden Gophers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Makes the grab and steps out right away. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. 
They come out in a five wide set. Hit immediately. From their own 42 yard line, second down. Green eye, green eye. Easy, easy. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 48. Makes it to the 37. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. rid of it quickly this one is incomplete too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch so the referee is going to take a look at several angles now remember he's seeing the same thing we are and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call after review of the play the ruling on the field is reversed so after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From the 12-yard line, first down. Red two, blue four, blue four. Got it, and he goes down quickly. That brings him second and five. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quickly to the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the nine yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Taken down at about the 13. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not the three not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up and watch what's going on around the country. 
time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. From the 46-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Decides to slide. Ball the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Watch quick, watch quick, watch quick. Watch quick. Thank you, too. He's got him from the two-spot. Mike, Mike. Here we go. Green And they make the stop at the 31. Number seven on the tackle at the 31-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Major gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. On the throw, incomplete pass. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick strike to the receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of seven yards. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. One yard to the goal line. Down he goes at the one. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish. Finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Fires out to his receiver. The tackle made at about the 37 yard line. From their own 37 yard line, it's first down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Five wide. Go for it! They're about four yards away here on third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled at the 30-yard line.
First and ten. Ball on the 30. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws right away. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. From the 15-yard line, first down. He's taken down right around the 12 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. And here's another third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Minnesota's offense has really been firing on all cylinders, especially here in the third quarter. Well, they got off to a good start, and they've been able to maintain that, maybe take it to a different level in the third quarter. It's going to require that for them to be able to get out of here with a win. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Minnesota looking to build on this commanding lead here. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Let's go! He zips it out to the right. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. That's a team of 13 yards on the play. First down. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Go down, go down. That's a great tackle at the 10. From the 10-yard line. Second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Out of bounds around the seven yard line. Roger, Roger. 
quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. It's knocked away, incomplete. When you play the quarterback position, you have to be able to read the defense and look off defenders. He didn't really do that on that pass. He was lucky it was only a tip and not a pick. This will just add insult to injury. It's up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. The Cavalry's coming. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From their own 42 yard line, first down. Slings it out there incomplete. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. Golden Gophers with a huge lead. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. That's a nice stop right there here early in the fourth quarter, but they've made those kind of plays all day, and that's why we've got a blowout on our hands. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They come out in a five-wide set. A little toss across the middle. Brought down at the 38-yard line. the 33 yard line from the 33 yard line it's second down fires complete over the middle tackle around the 22 yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 13-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He fights forward to about the 10. 10th play of the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four. Five wide. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. The tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big-time threat inside the 10-yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. Yeah. 
And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Rutgers is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's taken down at the 34. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He might not be able to get the pass off. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. And the defense picks it up. Penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. All on their own 29. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it deep. And he's got it. The 10. They get in. Touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Minnesota to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. And that right there was a pretty good kick return. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Catch first down, and he's knocked out. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. He steps out right around the 38-yard line. Saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He hits him hard at the 14-yard line. And 
And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. That makes it 30. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. And the screen pass goes nowhere. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. The kick is up, and it is good. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull this one out, but you admire the hustle to recover the onside kick, even at this point in the game. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. With the pass incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And they make the stop at the 48. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. He's tackled at midfield. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They hook up over the middle. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. three-yard line. It's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Go for it! Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. From the 28-yard line, third down. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. knocked away. But you have to admire the defense for showing some pride here. The game's obviously out of hand, but they haven't given up. Nice stop. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He might have a chance. Gets to around the 42. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. 
Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they got him for a loss. For Kirk and Aaron, I think I can say we're glad this one's over. Minnesota, 44, Rutgers, 19. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.